Hi, my name is Gregory Vasquez and I'm the head of customer service at Anastasia Date. We're an internet service provider for international online dating services. One of the things that I'm responsible for is having a team of individuals that provides all the customer service and care for all of our members. It's our job to make sure that everyone is having a fun, safe, and enjoyable platform to be on. I've started a series of videos to help our members get a little bit more familiarized with international online dating and as well kind of also share a few tips that might help them stay out of trouble and have a better time. In this video, I want to talk about flirting. Now, flirting is something that's a little bit different internationally. So what you're used to maybe in the West could be a little bit different in terms of how people go about flirting here in the East or anywhere in the world for that matter. I sometimes hear from time to time a member will contact me in regards to somebody that's maybe flirting a little bit too much or maybe even not flirting enough and they'd like to know if are they being really serious? Well, that's a tricky question, but I just want to be sure that you understand that whether someone is flirting too much or not flirting enough, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily getting scammed. It's just that they have a different personality or characteristic that um, in some cases you just may either have to get used to or always find somebody else. All right, let's face it. It takes two to tango and everyone's different. You're probably not going to find someone exactly like you and certainly maybe not even find someone that takes the same approach you would. Not in all parts of the world is it necessarily required that the man makes the first move. In some cases you might find even a lady will make the first move. One of the things about international online dating is that people will find it a little bit less apprehensive to communicate with somebody that's not necessarily in front of their face because they're chatting, for example, or sending some type of uh, uh, email uh, in order just to get the conversation going. The fact is, somebody has to get the conversation going, and whether it's the man or if it's a woman, that's something that's critical to success. And whether that's called flirting or it's maybe the first pickup line, we all have to start somewhere. How many girls are you communicating with right now? Are you using the same line to pick them all up or trying a different approach? If you want to stand out, you're probably going to have to try more than one in order to get some responses back. And it's no different for the ladies. They've got to be able to communicate with somebody in hopes of somebody replying back to them in order to get the conversation going. That's just part of the game. Okay, so you get a chat invite or you get an email and someone's saying to you that you look great and they can't wait to see you tomorrow and maybe even get married next week. Now, you may have to just use a little bit of common sense and understand that they're trying to obviously get your attention and it may not be fully sincere about this. In most cases they probably aren't and you probably wouldn't either. That being said, use a little common sense and manage your own expectations here, realizing that, who knows, it could be the beginning of a wonderful relationship, but it might take time before you actually get a chance to come out there. All right, so let's say that you start flirting with somebody today, does it mean you have to flirt with them again tomorrow? Well, of course not. And she may not have to flirt with you either if she's not interested. Flirting was just to get a conversation going and kind of connect some more dots, get a little bit more information and see if that relationship is something you want to invest your time in. Well, if you're not interested or if she's not interested and whether it's tomorrow or the next week, it's perfectly fine. Just go on to somebody else that's a little more interested in you or likewise. All right, I hope you liked this video on the topic of flirting. I'm going to come back again with some more videos to give you some more tips on how you can have a better, safe, and fun, successful environment dating on an Anastasia date. And don't forget to look at our services that can help you stand out in the crowd and have better success all the time. Take care.